Here we are in the outdoor testing studio where I just happen to have a cool pond in my backyard, the perfect place to test an awesome new high-speed radio-controlled racing boat. In this video, I'm gonna quickly take you outside so you can see what it looks like on the water, how it works. Then I'm gonna come back, give you a review from one to five, let you know what I think of this. And then finally, we are gonna go back in history, do the unboxing, and I'll tell you about all the features of this product so that you know if you're still interested in it, what it's all about. So let's go do that video. Okay, wow, I hope you really enjoyed that. It's a little hot out here today. Nice, one of the nice things about Florida. But oh man, is this thing cool. This thing is so fast, works perfectly. You put it in the water, it turns itself on, sinks up almost instantly. I will say this controller has lots of options and movements that don't really do anything on the boat. It's obviously a generic piece. So overall, this thing is just awesome. Five out of five on the Doug score. Let's go to that unboxing so you can see what it comes with. Welcome to the past. We had so much fun playing with this, I'm assuming. It looks so cool anyway. So you saw that, I gave it my Doug score from one to five, and now you wanna know what's inside this box in the hit, you know, back here in the past. So let's open the box, go through it. I'll tell you about the features of this, and then you can make your own decision what you wanna do. So let's open it up. First off, you need to know it is a 136 scale model, which is a very reasonable, I actually think it's a really nice size because like it's nice transportable. You could take it with the kids on vacation or you could do like me and play in the backyard. It is a, a, a good easy size, size, it is a good easy size to see and control and it's not micro size and it's not huge either. Okay, so one thing I always say with any RC things, here is the instruction manual. Please read it before you try to play with it because they're all just a little bit different just to confuse you. And so this way, it makes your first experience when you go to use it so much more fun because you know what's gonna happen. You're not trying to figure it out as you do it. Let's see what's in here. It's upside down. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, how about that? Okay, so a couple key features that you really do wanna know. Number one, it is a 2.4 gigahertz radio, which means you're gonna get a nice strong signal. You're gonna be able to control it without worrying about it running away from you. If you should go crazy and make an, a mistake or, or something goes wrong with it, it is self-correcting. Doesn't mean you can't sink it, but naturally, if you flip it over, it is watertight and it will try to right itself most of the time. I've played with a lot of these and have not sunk any yet or damaged any yet. And this one looks super cool. I could already tell by the exhaust there that it is gonna be water cooled. How neat is that? All right, so let's see what we got. We got two batteries. We have, oh, I am a fan of this company. Look at this, okay. So those of you who may have watched the Doug and Nikki channel in the past, I always complain when they don't come with the things you need to start playing with it, right? So this, so this kit comes with four AA batteries, which means I can just throw them right in the remote control and go, which is great. Comes with a basic set of tools, uh, a stand for it, a USB charger to charge the batteries, and a little case of lube or oil so that you can keep the engine in top running condition. I guess technically it is a motor because it's electric, not an engine. And let's take a look at the, this remote control real quickly. So, 
if you take a look at this, it has trim adjustments here. You've got your standard controls. Uh, you can choose left to right, right to left. It has an LCD screen, which is gonna give you battery and trim settings, that kind of stuff. 